Yeah, show them some cat butt, Jax. How we doing, guys? Eric here, along with Jax from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Beautiful, beautiful, sunny, warm New Mexico. I love this, guys. Man, we were not expecting to find a campground here, actually. I'm, I'm so far out in the middle of nowhere, guys. Pulled in in this uh, U.S. Department of... No, I take that back. There's a national park, like BLM style place. It's open, which is funny because the one in Arizona was closed for, you know what? This one's, this one's okay. $5 a day for dry camping. We loved it here. We're actually getting ready to pack up and leave, but it's okay. The reason why Jack's and I are here in the middle of nowhere is because there is something very strange and quirky here in the middle of New Mexico that you're not gonna believe. And I'm gonna take you with us today, okay? So we'll pack up a few things, put the awning and the slide back in, hit the road, let's have some fun. You ready, Jax? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we travel down this uh, strange remote road here. This blue sign says gas, next at Winston, 59 miles. However, way off in the distance, it's hard to see. Oh, look at all these, what do you call these? Antelope? I don't know, they, they look like deer to me, but I'm not from these parts, so I don't really know what you, I think, yeah, I'm not sure what you call these guys. There's a lot of them though. Okay, and then see way off in the distance? That's what we're trying to get to today. But um, yeah, we gotta, we gotta drive quite a ways here first. Yeah, look at this big honking antenna off to our right. It looks tiny to you, but it's a monster antenna. It looks kind of like a satellite dish. And we're gonna go over these tracks right here. They move them on these tracks. There's actually 26 of these monster antennas. All right, we got a sign here. It says, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the VLA is closed to the public. No public services. Turn around here. <sighs> Unbelievable, man. This is just, this is just getting ridiculous, guys. I'm the only one out here. How is, what does COVID have to do with looking at a freaking antenna? You know, I apologize, guys. I, I get my hopes up. I start to have a couple good days and then, I mean, this is it's getting out of hand with this whole COVID crap. You just can't do anything for the rest of our lives. It's like eight months later, here we are. Oh, can't go outside because COVID. Ah, whatever, I'll come back later on when we can go to the visitor center, but legally I'm allowed to stand right here right now during COVID. So we got the VLA, okay? or the, the Very Large Array is what it's called. And it's kind of famous out here. You've got 13 miles of these huge radio antennas. They look like satellite dishes, but they are actually uh, 26 different antennas that are reaching out into space, basically to look for like black holes or anything else in the atmosphere out in space that's unusual. But I guarantee you that if there ever were any communication from the other world, these antennas here in New Mexico would definitely pick up those signals. They are fully rotatable. You saw the track that we came in on, so they can be synchronized and moved. Uh, apparently when it snows in the winter time, they can also aim them towards the, the south, aiming the other way to kind of melt some of the snow off of the dish itself too. Uh, if you like sci-fi movies, these might look a little familiar to you because they were seen in the movie Contact, Independence Day, and Terminator Salvation. Also, I think Bon Jovi shot a, a music video out here with them in the background. Each dish antenna weighs 230 tons. And they have remained out here in New Mexico for over 30 years now, drawing people from all over the country to come look at it. I'm told that if COVID ever disappears in our lifetime, that the visitor center down there used to do tours. You could get up and be right next to one. Um, ah, I'm, I'm really frustrated. This is, uh, this is one of those things I, I keep saying I can't control, but then again, there's a reason why I'm one of the only YouTubers out here trying to explore because everything is closed everywhere I go. Anyway, the very large array, maybe we'll come back one year later on if COVID ever disappears. I, uh, I made a lot of sacrifices to get out here. <laughs> 
another bucket list ruined by COVID. Oh well, I'll put on my miles. I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. All right, well, I, uh, I posted to my uh, Patreon peeps over on that platform, and I got a lot of support over there. It's like, Eric, you know, they're, they're just trying to be extra careful and safe. And then other people are like, Eric, what's wrong with a little bit of extra safety here? And it's like, guys, you... <laughs> You don't get it. Like, like everybody else is just un like. If you want to stay inside forever because it's just not safe in the world, then do it. But I don't. Come on, man. It's a public road. I'm inside my. Are, are you telling me that the, the the freaking antennas are radiating more COVID and, and it'll get inside my RV while I'm alone driving down that road? Close the road off. Give me a break, guys. Give me a break, man. I planned this whole trip based on outdoor stuff because everything is closed for COVID. And I can't even drive down the road anymore because there's COVID all over the road. <sighs> anyway, little uh, rest area here, full of trash, even though there's trash bins everywhere. We just throw our cigarettes and beer bottles all over the place. This place will be shut down in a few weeks. Once I get to Texas, all these little rest areas and picnic areas, you can stay at them overnight for 24 hours at any of them. In New Mexico, heck no. No, no, no. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, today, today let me down. There's always tomorrow. <laughs> so why don't we do this? Why don't I just end this video and we try again? Okay, sorry guys. Be well, I tried, but uh, trying ain't getting me too far anymore here. See you in two days.